Would you like to see how I make a one pan van life meal? Yep, just the one pan to cook an amazing Italian style dinner. So easy, so delicious. If you like pasta, if you like Italian sausage, if you like tomatoes, if you like Parmesan cheese, if you like olive oil, salt and pepper, you're gonna wanna stay tuned. Easy, easy meal. I show you how to make it right now. Thanks for tuning in today. Really appreciate that. My name is Scott. Welcome to Go Small Live Large. We're a YouTube channel all about the Class B van life, RV lifestyle. What we do here is we cruise around America showing you tips and tricks on van living in, working from, cooking from, whether you're part-time, full-time like me, been in my van for 25 months, continuous living now, or you're still researching. If you like that kind of content, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a single video on where we're going, why we go where we go, and the meals we eat, and the fun things we do together. Today, it's all about a one-pot meal. Let's jump into the galley, which is right here. All right, so what this meal consists of is I use a saute pan to not only boil the pasta, but to cook the previously grilled Italian sausage, to which I am then gonna add olives, basil, olive oil, salt, pepper, and Parmesan cheese. So the first thing we're gonna do is boil the water in the pan using my propane cooktop. Let's jump into that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the pasta in the pan and then put water in so I don't overfill it. Uh, now I use fresh pasta because it cooks much faster than um, dried and it takes less water I've discovered so I can get away with this. Um, I bought this at uh, Target, it was about four or five bucks and it's tomato, basil, and mozzarella ravioli. So again, I just put it into the pan like that it's out of the fridge so it's almost room temperature kind of break them up just a little bit oops I broke that one open I'm actually gonna get rid of that because it's kind of spoils the water right it's a all icky so one less uh, this serves two and a half according to the package and that's about right um, for into the garbage <laughs> so that's about right for two meals for me so that's great so I drink water from my faucet uh, because I filter it coming in and I filter it underneath the, the tap right here. Um, we just did a video um, on uh, my What's Up Wednesday show interviewing uh, Keith uh, Blanchard, the CEO of um, Clear 2O, talking about the importance of filtering RV water. So if you haven't seen that and you want to be able to drink your water from your RV versus plastic bottles, good idea. Check that video that show out. So I'm just going to put enough water in to kind of cover the pasta. You can see that. Then what I'm going to do is and I turn it on the stove here. Okay, so let that cook. It's going to take probably about um, four or five minutes. Once it gets up to temperature, it's going to cook pretty fast. Um, we get a little bit translucent. That's how I know that they're done. And then we'll drain the water. And then I'm going to add in the um, sausage. And I found tomatoes. I have tomatoes to go with this too. Mm. I wish I had... Um, Fresh basil, that would work really well for this, but I've got the dried basil, we'll just sprinkle that on. Um, I've tried to grow basil in here and it just doesn't work real well and I don't use it fast enough to make sense of having another plant because um, I have so limited horizontal services, um, spaces, horizontal services, yeah, to, um, to put things on. So, okay, with that, we're just gonna let this do its thing for a few minutes. All right, so that water boiled really fast. I'm gonna use my compostable fork here and just kind of move the raviolis around. Just kind of curious, uh, what kind of meals do you like to cook? I like to cook really simple one pan meals. Why? Less washing, less prep time. Um, it still makes a delicious meal. It's really no mess. I mean, these are the ingredients, right? Um, and it just, it, it kind of goes with the whole philosophy of van life, which is simplicity and minimalism. I'm going to actually turn the water down, the heat down here a little bit so it doesn't boil over. And I'll give these just a few minutes at this point. So again, it took about maybe three minutes, not even that, for the water to boil. And um, we'll give another three minutes here or so. And uh, a lot of people think they have to bring all this cooking equipment um, to do the sausages. I'm actually going to use my scissors. I use my scissors for everything. I've used my chef's knife probably, I don't know, maybe... 
once, twice a month because it's just so much easier to do something with this. Maybe I'm cutting up large vegetables for um, you know, vegetable munching, um, and I might use that. Uh, that works pretty good. But um, again, it's just all about simplicity, minimalism, and uh, these are looking really nice. Give it a few more minutes and we'll strain the water. All right, so what I'm gonna do is simply take the uh, pan off the water, um, huff the heat and put it in here. Now I'm gonna run a little cold water because uh, I'm just I'm not real confident that putting boiling water into the RV pipes is really a good idea. So I'll turn this a little bit on just so it kind of breaks the heat. And I'm gonna use the scissors to kind of keep it from going down so we don't lose any raviolis. That's okay. That's good enough. Kind of rinse the, the thing in there a little bit. So these are ready to have the next step, which is um, olive oil and the sausage. <laughs> yes, goes in next. Okay, let's turn the heat back on. It's a two two part process. One is to have the ignition, and the other is for uh, the RV or the RV, the propane. Okay, add just a little bit of olive oil, just a few tablespoons. That's all like that. Um, and then we're gonna put in the sausage. Now these are at room temperature. Turn the heat down. Um, so they're gonna cook pretty fast. I took them out of the, um, the fridge to, to warm up. So I'm just, again, I'm gonna cut these into like little slices. I always grill in advance, meaning when I get my grill out, I'm grilling probably three, four, five days worth of food, whether it's sausages, burger patties, chicken, steak. And then what I do is I um, just kind of reheat that in the microwave. And so I get all the flavor of the grilling. I only have to go through the grilling process once because sometimes I'm not in a place where I can use my grill. It happens often actually. And uh, okay, so we're gonna consider that done. And we're just gonna heat these up. And again, what I'm gonna do is use the, um, the fork. These forks are really great. They're really tough. It's pretty amazing. Uh, let's see if we can get the sausage on the bottom of the pan so they can heat up. Already fully cooked, so all they need to be is heated. Get the olive oil moving around a little bit. Looking pretty good. It smells great. Can you smell it? Oh my gosh. There's something about pasta, aviolis. Um, I'm going to add um, salt and pepper. Just a little bit of pepper. The, the raviolis tend to be a little um, salty of the prepared ones. So I'm more interested in getting the, the pepper. Um, that's why I did not salt the water. Um, and I've got Parmesan cheese going here. I'm gonna add some olives. Um, these are um, chopped. So all the work has been done for me. Again, saving time, saving cleanup. Just like that. Turn back up a little bit of the heat. Uh, I'm gonna sprinkle in some basil. Again, fresh would be better for sure. To brighten things up and to add some extra taste, I have tomatoes. I always buy tomatoes in the rectangular containers because they kind of sit in my cabinet better. Um, I have a wire rack in my in my galley cabinet, and what that allows me to do is kind of put them in like this so they get caught on the on the wire rack and they don't fall out when I open the cupboard after I've been traveling. This thing's a stir. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, I'm gonna cut these up. Again, just using the scissors. Okay, call that good. Let's give them a stir. What do you think? See that? Back on the heat for a few minutes. Just until the sausage gets warmed through, that's what I'm mostly interested in. Ooh. Just heat it through. So we're done. Let's plate it. Okay, we'll put a, a serving's worth on, which is probably four of these. They're pretty big. So that's um, five, six, a little, one more. And then what I'll do is I'll put um, some of the yummy stuff on top, right? Sausage and tomatoes. How's that looking to you? Looking pretty awesome. Um, let me put the hot pan right here. 
Then we'll put some uh, Parmesan cheese on that. You like Parmesan cheese? I love Parmesan cheese. Healthy dose of that. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Literally 10 minutes. One pan, one disposable fork, one disposable plate. I'm gonna wash this with that. Um, after I bag that into a baggie, after it cools a bit, and that's it. Let's have a bite. Eat. Let's have a taste. These are looking really yummy. Don't need a knife. Mmm. That's so good. I'm glad I did not add any salt because these are pretty salty. Get tomato bite. So good. Okay. Try this recipe at home. Try it in your van. Try it in your RV. Tell me what you think. What is your favorite recipe? You know, I could go all out and get a, a glass of wine and stuff, but let me know below. Comment. What is your favorite meal in your in your RV? Whether you're um, in, in a part time, full time, or are still researching. What a meal like this that you make at home convert pretty easy for RV lifestyle. The key again is minimalism, simplicity, very little water cleanup, and make some meals ahead uh, so we can enjoy these um, meals whenever we want with just a few minute or two in the microwave. Pretty amazing. Thumb up, sure appreciate that. Comment below, subscribe. If you like this kind of content, join us. We got a lot of stuff coming up. We're heading to, uh, we're in Kentucky right now, head up into Ohio and then up into Michigan. Over the next few weeks so join us for those journeys until we see you soon i wish you to journey on let's eat the pans is um, use a paper towel to get most of the oil and stuff out and the, and the food debris so it doesn't go down the drain. The pan is still warm from cooking so just a little bit of um, cool water um, makes warm-ish water Whoa! And, um, and allows me to have a clean pan with just a little bit of uh, again just a little bit of soap and water because the, the pan is still warm so it will dry uh, and that's really pretty much it ladies and gentlemen. Get a quick rinse. Fan life tips. Again, if you're into that kind of stuff, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.